Melanie Phillips. I think, I think Which Matt's entirely nice. right. Um, when you have an inquiry like this, you know, uh, the establishment sets up the inquiry, it goes to a member of the establishment, and the establishment is quite small. They all either know each other or are married to each other or related to each other. And especially if you have to have a woman, you have to have a woman because it's child abuse, well, women in public life tend to be people who have some involvement in children's charities and that whole world. So it's very hard to find someone who really is quite outside it. But I would make a different point. I think this inquiry is complete nonsense. Complete nonsense. Look at the terms of the inquiry. It's ridiculous. It basically is setting itself to inquire into the, uh, the, the scandal of enabling and allowing these dreadful child abuse attacks and so forth over a large number of years, over the entire country, involving every agency involved in child protection, the police, the social services, the health service. It's impossible, it's impossible for any inquiry to discover anything that is significant that we don't know. We all know what the problem is. In child abuse cases, there has been inquiry after inquiry after inquiry, not child sexual abuse, but, you know, children being murdered and so forth and so on. And, you know, every time one of these things happens, one of these dreadful tragedies where the social services fell down and the police fell down and the health service fell down, and there's a serious inquiry and lots of people say serious things, and it shells, and then there's another terrible scandal and another terrible abuse and another inquiry. So what no do you one do? ever learns anything. What do you do? Nothing. Mm. What you do is you understand what's, 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 what's gone on here. There, is, there are two things, I think, that, that have gone on in, to create this situation. One is that in the administrative class, there's been allowed to develop a culture of impunity in which people of incompetence get away with it and basically are appointed to different jobs and get promoted. And there's something gone wrong in our whole way that we hold professionals accountable. That's the first thing. The second thing is that with these terrible child abuse cases, there is such hypocrisy here because we are in a society which for, I don't know, two decades, three decades, has winked at the sexualization of children. We've basically said children are entitled to have sexual relations. Uh, look at what's going on in the schools. Give them sex education, give them abortion counselling. We basically... We, the, the whole that doesn't idea absolve of the, the paedophiles the, of the awful crimes they've committed. What? Yeah. That doesn't absolve the abusers and the paedophiles. Absolutely. It doesn't absolve them, but we have some responsibility. We've created a kind of paedophile society. Okay. The man up there in the second row...